Hey everybody, this is going to be a walk around video of my camper. Um, I have a lot of new viewers and it's been a long time since I've done a walk around video so I've had a lot of requests. I also want to say sorry I've been gone for so many months, it feels like forever but I think it's been since December. Um, the new job is going alright, um, my schedule is kind of messed up right now because I fell at work and broke my shoulder so now I'm going through physical therapy and I have to work. Monday through Friday and all those different hours. And also, I didn't realize my notifications were turned off for YouTube. So while I was in physical therapy Friday, uh, I realized that and I had almost 200 um, unread comments from all my videos. So big shout out to everybody that follows comments. Uh, put a big smile on my face when I was at physical therapy. Um, I have responded to everybody's comments, so I'm all caught up right now. And starting this coming weekend, I'll be camping in Ocala, so the videos are going to start coming again. So you guys have something to look forward to. Anyway, I'm going to get back to uh, this video. It's just going to be a walk around of this camper. Sorry this isn't the most scenic place to make a video, but like I've said, I've been so busy. I just haven't had time to take it anywhere to make a walk around video. But uh, the story behind this trailer is I found it for $2,000 on Craigslist almost two years ago. I bought it right before Jeeping with Judd. And that's kind of when the video started with this trailer. The trailer itself is 5 feet by 10 feet. Inside there is a full size mattress and in the back there's a little kitchen area. It is all steel. It is so heavy but it's so well insulated that it's kind of like a soundproof box if you're camping with a large crowd and you just want to go to sleep. As soon as you get inside and close those doors you can't hear anything. Anyway, uh, I do have a roll and lock hitch. I use that when I pulled it behind the Jeeps, but since my Tacoma trailer hitch and receiver are so low to the ground that it made the trailer dip way down in the front, so I just uh, installed a regular ball hitch on the front to level out the trailer. All right, we have two full propane tanks. I have a roto packs, so I think it's four gallons. I have a nice rock guard right here, comes in really handy, especially behind the Jeeps. They just love to throw stones. Right now I have mud flaps on the Tacoma and street tires, so it doesn't really throw up too much stuff. Uh, this is just an old mount for a jack that I should have cut off. I just gotta take a grinding wheel and cut that off. Anyway, that's kind of it for the front. Anyway, it's half inch plywood with aluminum on the outside, and on the inside, I'll show you, there's just uh, some polymer poly board or something. I forgot what it's called. So on the driver's side of the trailer, on top I have a 8.5 by 8.5 foot uh, awning, came from eBay, I want to say it was like 130 bucks. plus I had like a 20% off coupon on top of that, so right here we have an LED light, it's really bright, um, really nice uh, doors right here, they have tinted windows and uh, the bottom lifts up and there's a nice screen right there, let it, some nice airflow. Right here is a mount for any kind of uh, tool, uh, you just put a shovel there and an axe down here, comes in really handy. Um, like I said, really nice aluminum on the outside. It's got a lot of scratches if you look close. That's mainly from uh, going through Ocala. And right here is Sammy. You guys haven't seen her in a while. She's pretty big now. I want to say she's almost 50 pounds maybe. I don't remember. Anyway, got the steel fenders right here still holding up fine. These are LED running lights and these right here are the LED blinkers and tail lights. That's my old logo if you guys for uh, around from the beginning. On this side of the trailer, nothing crazy. I still haven't bought anything to put right here, but I think I figured out what I'm actually gonna do. Again, right here we have an LED light and a really nice door on this side as well. So there's the outdoor LED light, and I turned the light on the inside so you guys can see. This is that white polymer, poly board, whatever you wanna call it. Have a single LED light inside. These right here are two nice cabinets. Uh, that was for the climate right air conditioner that I had. One's a return and one's a cold air coming in. Next to each door is two LED switches. The top one's the porch light, that's outside. And this one right here is for the ceiling, it's inside. And the ceiling is a fantastic fan, it has three speeds. It does a great job. Um, if you open up both sliding windows and let the air come through the screen, it does cool off pretty good if you lay with your head near that. Otherwise, if you lay with your head over here, you're not really going to feel the cool air. That's the only thing that sucks. Um, another bad thing is those screens aren't small enough to where no CMs uh, can't come through. So if you're at the beach and you have both the windows open, the no CMs are going to find you. 
So that is where the air conditioning comes in. You don't ever have to open up the windows. And if you get in before the bugs come out, um, you can just lay in here in the air conditioning and, you know, sleep or take a nap or read a book or watch TV or anything until uh, until you fall asleep. It's pretty relaxing, especially since I said uh, it's soundproof. You can't hear anything on the outside, so it's really nice. If anything, that's pretty much it. Here's a six inch uh, mattress, full size. Nice flooring in the bottom. And those are my wheel adapters to put the Tacoma TRD rims on the trailer. Looking in the back, it's kind of, it looks like a mess, but it's actually really simple. I just have to clean up those wires a little bit. Other than that, I don't have anything crazy. I don't have water tanks and water pumps and air tanks and compressors and all that stuff. I kind of have the bare minimum just to, you know, have a nice refrigerator, recharge electronics and cameras and phones and stuff like that. So we'll start right here. This is a solar charge controller for my solar panel on the roof. I'll show you that after this. Um, as you can tell, it's working pretty well. Sun's starting to go down. Up here is a first aid kit, something everybody should have. At least one of, I should say. If you look on the outside of the camper right here, there is a plug. If you follow those wires inside, they're gonna go to this PowerMax power charger. Now, if you're you know, parked in a garage, parked in the shade, or you just don't want to use the solar to charge the battery for some reason or broke, um, or you're at a campsite that has power, you can plug this camper into shore power and this PowerMax charger will keep your battery topped off. So I just uh, have a simple marine battery, I think it's like 115 amp hours or something like that. That black box right there is a 1500 watt power inverter. I don't ever use it. I think I might have used it once or twice to um, blow up uh, air matches or something but my truck in the back has a power inverter from the factory, so I kind of use that. It's just easier to get to, and it's pretty convenient. But this one works. No complaints, really. I don't know what the brand is. I don't think there's any stickers on it anymore. This little box right here houses my USB ports for charging things, as well as the 12-volt uh, socket, and that's what I run this refrigerator with. Now, I've never used this refrigerator. It's kind of a funny story of how I got it. Um, as you see in all my videos, I use the ARB. It's kind of like my favorite refrigerator. The ARB is only 50 quarts, I think, and this one's 75, so it's it's significantly bigger. Um, I actually bought this for a really good deal. I want to say it was like 400 bucks, but uh, it didn't get lost. The ship got delayed multiple times, months and months ago, because of uh, hurricanes. So I prepaid for it. And I forgot I even ordered this thing um, probably three or four months after I paid for it and it just kept not showing up not showing up I kind of forgot about it and I don't know who I was camping with but we saw someone post a refrigerator for sale I'm like man that's a good that's a good price I should probably buy that and the more I thought about it I was like you know what I think I bought a refrigerator never received it so I had to go through some old messages and stuff and got back in contact with the guy and uh, sure enough it still hadn't come yet so I think it it seemed like six months later I ended up getting it and by then um, I just didn't even really need it anymore so it's kind of just sat here like I said I've never used it I don't know how efficient it is um, from what I read um, in the paperwork it's uh, actually uses less energy than the ARB which is going to be kind of hard to believe the ARB is pretty efficient but once I start using it I can make some videos and I'll find some information on this and the brand um, like I said I don't really know anything about it um, like I said, it's a really simple setup. Just gotta clean these wires up. That's a fuse block right there. All these wires that are going up, those are going to the fantastic fan and all the LED lights on the outside and the inside are going right through there. Um, these two holes right here are for the hoses for the Climate Right air conditioner. Um, don't ever buy one of those, they're pretty, pretty much garbage. Uh, this is an old band mountain. My dad carved for me, so I hung it up in here. And cannot forget to have a bottle opener when you're out camping. Other than that, that's pretty much it for the inside. And my goal right here is to uh, fill up this entire door of stickers. We've got quite a few. I have a lot to add, so the next time I go camping with the guys, we have to film putting some stickers on here. A lot of these stickers are from places that we camped, state, state parks and uh, private campgrounds if they have stickers as well as well as just trading people. I try to keep a stack of stickers in my truck and patches and if I come across people that ask for them or whatever, I'll trade them. 
But other than that, that's pretty much it for the back, guys. So here's the roof. That's the top of the fantastic fan. Right there is my 100 watt Renogy solar panel. Uh, pretty efficient, works great. Uh, not really much complaints about it. Keeps my battery pretty well topped off. These two bars right here are really strong. Uh, I put all the kayaks on them and stuff. I also use them to tie off the uh, hammocks too. So we'll go tie the hammock off right here and the one over there and then I'll park my truck about 15 feet away and we'll go from the rack on the truck to the uh, camper. Especially if you're out like uh, in a pasture, you don't have any trees to hang them from, you can always hang them from the camper to the truck. It's pretty nice. Uh, these right here are two awnings. They're both the same size, eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet. They're both Chinese, you know, clones of the ARB. They work pretty well. Materials are a little cheap like you would expect, but it's held up in rain and wind. Uh, what else can you expect? Um, the, only, the only thing is this one came gray, that one came black, but you know, who cares? But that's pretty much it for the trailer. It is built like an ox. Um, I've had this thing on some pretty crazy trails that you've seen in my videos, and I've yet to break anything. Nothing's had to be rewelded or anything. Um, it's definitely, definitely been a great trailer, and you cannot pass this thing up for $2,000. Uh, everything that is on it is how I bought it for $2,000. The only thing that wasn't included was the refrigerator, of course, and the two awnings. But uh, everything else is as is. Plus it came with all the supplies in the back, so I had, he gave me uh, just all kinds of cooking utensils and brand new, still had the tags on it, like uh, pots and pans and forks and plates and just camping stuff, so I was really fortunate and uh, lucky to come across that deal. But I just want to say thank you again to everybody that watches, you guys are the best fans. Thank you so much for all the comments and everybody that messaged me, checking up on me since I hadn't made a video in almost three months. Um, this coming weekend, I think it's... March 16th, I will be camping in Ocala, so if you guys happen to be in Ocala National Forest, look out for my truck, or maybe we can meet up and camp somewhere. Um, I don't really have any plans of where I want to camp. Um, I love the prairie, but the prairie is pretty popular, and I have a feeling there's going to be a ton of people there since it's going to be a really nice uh, weekend, really good weather, so I'm probably going to find somewhere a little different to camp this time. Last but not least, this is my trailer. If you guys have any questions on it, feel free to drop a line and I will answer you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching, you guys are awesome.